Welcome to Rope Dropping Knowledge, where we guide you through the magic of Disney. These are good. How rude. You're eating on the podcast. Not eating. These are runs. That's eating. They're candy. You're eating candy. Yeah, but it's not like I'm eating like a meal. <laughs> it's flavor. They want flavor on the podcast. How am I going to give them flavor if there's no flavor in my mouth? Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. So, talk us through the giveaway. Well, um, what do we have? I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, did you post it already? Mm-hmm. A long time ago. Oh, did I put anything? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So we have a giveaway. <laughs> Our June I'm giveaway rude. to pick up uh, for to pick up the summer, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> um, Shouldn't have called me rude. <laughs> well, you are rude. It's chewing. And You're unprofessional. Ears. You're not ready. You're the one that says go unscripted or whatever. Yeah, go. Well, yeah, we have a giveaway. You can see it on our post. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> Read the post. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, it's a Mickey, Danielle, Nicole backpack and matching purse, and it's like this chrome silver color. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a backpack and a purse. I already said that. And then in order to enter... Mm-hmm. Like and follow us on Instagram or Facebook or both and DM us the answer to the following question. What is your favorite Disney gear? Mm-hmm. When does it end? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I like people to see how much work I put into this as opposed to you. <laughs> June 25th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Pacific Standard Time. One entry per person, but if you enter both, or if you message us on both, you get two entries, and you can also enter through emailing us through ropedroppingknowledge.com. Info at ropedroppingknowledge.com. Yeah, but through our website, there's also a contact form. Mm -hmm. So, multiple ways to enter. It's the same email. Yeah. (laughs) Or the blog post. Yes. Must be 18 years old or live in the United States. Oh, yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're so funny. But we did get one vote from, was it was it Amula? Yeah, Island Beauty. Yeah, she wants to hear you rap and sing. Oh, so does Carrie. Okay, go. I don't have any. Yeah, you can use the same song. No. <laughs> that doesn't mean that we're going to include the segment. We're just No, they, they said at the beginning of every podcast. No. Come on. No. Let's go. We already heard you chewing. That's fine. <sighs> You're letting down your fans. <laughs> we also had a poll of should you get the ring light? The, the Mickey, Mickey ring light. Yeah. Or should I give it away? Yes. I, I win. Did you? Well, the poll said, like, it was really close. Oh, well, it disappeared, but I screenshot it. Okay, oh, yeah, it's probably win- winning. <laughs> it was 55% to 45%. So that's pretty close. 10% differential. Yes. Mm. So I get the ring light. You're lucky. I was totally giving that away. <laughs> there were a lot of people who wanted but it. But first so. of all, Dolwood Float voted for you. Yes. It's unfair. Because you guys are like besties. Your <laughs> sister voted for you. Yeah. Unfair. And a lot of other people also voted for me. What about like all the poor little children who won't have their Mickey ring light now? Well, they have to be 18 years or older to enter a giveaway anyways. So. <sighs> Here we go. Lawyer. <laughs> That's why lawyers are ruining the planet. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we have that giveaway. But we failed again at giving away the wallet. <laughs> And it didn't matter. Provost didn't matter. 
even with all his followers, all their followers, your sister's videos didn't matter. Nothing matters. So I'm going to throw away the wallet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's going to be sacrificed. I'm going to throw it off the side of Pirates of the Caribbean as soon as it opens up. <laughs> then we'll get in trouble. We'll be banned from the ride. Worth it. From Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you guys keep seeing us, we'll keep having it, I guess. <laughs> Tracy won't let me throw it away. <laughs> I wonder if I should just do a... a Make a viral video. Try to make a viral video of just blowing it up or something. <laughs> there was a viral, kind of, not viral, but we got like hundreds of likes for that one video my sister did with that song. And But nobody was here. Nobody claimed it. They liked it. but mm-hmm. yeah, We'll see. We even got like our own little Mickey Spies, Magic Spies at Disneyland sharing all the information and still on on (laughs) this. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what, but we'll be back at Disney on the 18th. I think our people want to see you dancing in a video. Then they'll, that's not what the poll was. (laughs) I'll make another one. (laughs) No, to see Brian dance. No, you're first because that was, that's what people voted on. (laughs) Don't worry. We'll make it happen, people. We always deliver. <laughs> All right. So. So what do we do? We stayed at Paradise Pier. We stayed at Paradise Pier Hotel. And it was a really good experience because it was so convenient to be able to just walk a few steps and you're in the park. Now we can do walk a few steps. Yeah. Well, now, but even when we went, because... Before, we had to walk, if you stayed at Paradise Pier, you had to walk all the way through downtown Disney to get to the front gate, Mm -hmm. like past Disneyland Hotel, past all that. Now, you can go cross the street through the Grand Californian, Mm -hmm. as long as you scan your key through this little gate or show it to the guard or whatever, you could go through Grand Californian, and either you go out to downtown Disney, where Sephora, like halfway, not all the way, but... You're almost there once you exit through downtown Disney, or you get to go straight to DCA through the Grand California entrance. Yeah. And then now, now, there's a separate Paradise Pier entrance. And you enter, I think it's between Goofy Sky School and Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. So... We took a picture of it and posted it. Yeah. Well, did we, No, did we post the entrance, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. Disney, DCA well, not- side? Yeah, we did. You oh, had we to did? Go. Mm-hmm. It was just a, it was just a wall. Picture, but I don't remember if we posted. It. <laughs> you, you don't even remember the the giveaway stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> you don't remember much. <laughs> <laughs> You're just caught on. in your own world. I got a lot going on. <laughs> what going on? Just thinking Dealing of with corporal stuff. You know, deal That's with corporal stuff. You, you're thinking about Disneyland and yeah. and parties and and corporal stuff. Just, Socialite stuff. Socialite <laughs> stuff. <laughs> You're like a Victorian wife. <laughs> <laughs> Going so, to garden yeah. parties. <laughs> well, next time we stay there, which won't be till August, but it'll probably be, you, we'll probably see it before then when we're at DCA, like the other, the other side of it, mm. the DCA and side. We'll see it on the 18th. We'll just be on that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, it was just I didn't think it would be that convenient because when we stayed there, like yeah, it wasn't a, a big deal before. Ago, it was like, oh man, all this walking. And remember, I saw this little toddler in front of us, and he just like sat down in mid walk, and he's like, I don't want to walk anymore. <laughs> and his parents were like, okay. <laughs> but um, this time it was way more convenient. And we celebrated with family. Yeah. So we had Patricia, Tony, me, and Emmy. Emmy. Got to go to the pool. They were excited. I I didn't know. Well, I I know. I think I forgot how much kids like pools. Yeah. Because I didn't really care about pools when I was a kid. I didn't either, right? I don't like water. Well, that's true. You don't like water. I think I liked it when I was with my friends, but I didn't really, like, if I was by myself, I didn't really care about a pool. 
you know. Yeah, I forgot that kids love it because sometimes we see like, you know, even if we're going to like an Indian casino or something and we'll see all these kids there just mm-hmm. summer break swimming. Yeah. Their parents just taking them swimming or something. and Like my, my friend Sean used to like, well, say, hey, Brian, can we come over and bring the kids to the pool? I'm just like, why? <laughs> like, I, I, I wasn't like I was being rude. I was just like, <laughs> why? I just, it, it sounded random. It's kind of like, you know, hey, I want to bring my kids over to look at the muffler on your car. It's like, <laughs> why would you do that? You know? I'm like, I'm Especially like, <laughs> Disney pool. And then like, I guess that's, that's true. That's the life, right? You go to the pool and then you go to Disneyland after you're done swimming. Well, I opened it up to them. I said, we, every time we go to Disney, we're at at least at a Marriott. Yeah. So you want to come over and if they like a pool that much, they can come over all mm-hmm. day, Saturday or whatever. We're there. Mm-hmm. And then if you fans want to come over, we'll let you into any <laughs> pool. If you want to go in a kids, wallet too while you're Yeah. Out. <laughs> you want a wallet and a pool? You want to sweeten the deal? We'll let you and your kids into whatever pool and whatever hotel we're staying at. And you get the Minnie Mouse wallet or whatever giveaway There's we have at the time. people to give you the wallet. <laughs> yeah. Usually you would bribe people the other way. <laughs> if you want to come to where we're at, you got we will give you X. You know, that's what companies do it, yeah. right? They give they have these giveaway the swag. Yeah. We're saying if you want a swag, you have to like come to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, no, I mean if you if you want to come to the pool, we have to, you have to take our swag. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but it it's so fun watching kids enjoying themselves, like getting excited and Dancing because they were so excited they were dancing. Yeah, me and Emmy dancing. <laughs> They're so excited. sweet. They're so cute. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> I'm going to be so sad when they're teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be all snotty. <laughs> be like, Ugh, I don't want to go to Disneyland. That's well, so I think uncool. Mia will always be sweet, but yeah. Emmy's going to be a diva. She's already a diva. <laughs> like, I I just feel bad for whoever... <laughs> Want to date her? <laughs> <laughs> she, mm, you never know. They oh, just grow up with different personalities. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna be like one of those, you know, bling empire type. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to date me? <laughs> okay, you know. But like, yeah, ew, a Tesla. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've had that all my life. <laughs> She's like, like, um, my uncle had a Tesla when I was like little. <laughs> yeah, her dad has one. <laughs> my dad has a Tesla. Like, hey, you want you want to be my dad? Like, ooh. <laughs> I was thinking a <of> Porsche. <laughs> oh no! But she, yeah, it's so fun to watch them like. Like enjoying the pool and then enjoying the parks mm-hmm. after the pool. I mean, that's the life. You know, yeah. swimming, going on the, the slide. The slide is crazy. And that's yeah. funny because um, Tony was embarrassed to go on it at first. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, you know, he let he stood in line with Mia to go and he let Mia go and then he didn't want to go. He went back down through the stairs. He's like, no, it's a kid's slide. I don't want to go down the slide. <laughs> yeah. Mia's become quite the... Uh, She's an adventurer. adventurer because she, she's getting so she fun. She loves Matterhorn now. She likes Thunder Mountain Matterhorn, and now she wants to try Guardians, but we're uh, afraid to let her try that because I don't I mean, want her to like not try stuff anymore because yeah, because she'd be so afraid. Because I fly in the air, like I feel myself in the air. So imagine her little, this little girl. She's like going to be flying all over the place. Yeah. So I don't think she should <laughs> try it yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she uh, wants to. She's like, I want to try it. She might like it. If she likes that, then she'll like anything. She's going to be like one of those daredevils jumping out of planes and stuff when she's, you know, older. Well, she went on Space Mountain and she says, oh, maybe I'll wait till I'm eight. <laughs> After she But she wasn't crying. She was no. just like, no, nah, it's mm, not for me right now. Yeah, that was kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, she was with us. Uh, she rode with us at, through Little Mermaid. Yeah, that was fun. She copies what we do. <laughs> we wave, she waves. Yeah. <laughs> she's so cute. They're so cute. Uh, seeing them enjoying Disneyland, and then I walked with Emmy to Little Mermaid. She when they see us, they want to be big girls, and they don't don't want to be in the stroller. Like, oh, get me out! Get me out! So they come out and they want to hold my hand and walk. That's how Natalie was, remember? Yeah. When uh, my little niece Natalie, when she was how was she five? I think she was yeah, five. Yeah, five or six. And then yeah, she was she's like in the stroller. To be in the and stroller. then as soon as she came, she didn't know we saw her yet because yeah. she was about you know. 30 yards away. Yeah. And we saw her, and then she's like, okay, we're getting there. Okay, she gets out and starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 
I still gotta yeah, remind her like, of that. Yeah, they're like trying to like take the seatbelt. Because she'll be out. fourteen this year. I think she'll be fourteen yeah, in August. Yeah, she's a teenager now. Can't wait. <laughs> like, hey, remember when you were in a stroller? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want us to see it. You know? Yeah, she didn't want us to see her in a stroller. So that's how me and Emmy are. They see us and they they want to get out of the stroller and walk. Yeah. So we ended up getting the um, the world of color like passes so it does work mm-hmm. we got it at the storytellers we'll talk about that in taste talk but mm-hmm. um yeah we just get, we gave it to them yeah we wanted to go on rides at night <laughs> so we're like because we always leave the parks at around like eight o'clock right because mm. we try to beat the fireworks crowd. yeah like 8 30 8 8 30 mm-hmm. so this time since we had a room there that's so convenient that we're like hey let's close down the park and so, the reason we try to beat the crowd is because we care about crowd it's because like we can't catch a lift or a lift or a taxi. Back. Yeah, we're too and tired I, to walk. And then sometimes Tracy's legs are cramping up. She doesn't want to walk that <laughs> well. So. Yeah, <laughs> but um, that's the only reason. It's not because we care about the mob because we're Disney people. We're yeah, used to mobs. You know, but it's more like trying to get a ride back. Yeah, and then sometimes we have like a good hotel room where we can just it has a good view of the fireworks anyway. Yeah, so it's like yeah, we'll try it hooked to get us back up. And, yeah, elements hook us up again. You know, you know the room. <laughs> I forgot the name of the room though, but it was like it's just the corner room on the fifth floor. <laughs> no, wait, is it the fifth? No, the but it had floor? a special name for it. Oh, it did. Yeah, and the letter it was like we upgraded you to our blah 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 oh. suite, but maybe it's just a corner suite. I don't yeah. know. But it has a view mm-hmm. of the fireworks because there's a corner suite that doesn't. Right. So if you listen in elements. We'll be back there. I think what August? No. Some more time. <laughs> like end of June. Yeah. I think. So, um, yeah, it, w- it was fun. And I'm calling this episode Tracy's Grad Night. <laughs> because you never got to experience Grad Night as a kid, as a teenager. Mm-hmm. Or you had some lame Grad Night or something No, it like was that. at Disneyland. But everyone was saying that the year before, they were saying how it... They were so tired because they had to wait around till 3 a.m. or whatever so they can go home. And they were all like kind sleeping on the kids, benches yeah. by then and all that stuff. I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. Forget it. Nerd I'm not going to go. Dorky. I'm going to sleep in. Dorky Anaheim kids. <laughs> so we, I didn't go. Yeah. Lame. So like every husband, you have to fulfill your all the childhood dreams your wife missed. <laughs> so. Well, I just wanted to close down the park and go uh, on ride at night. I didn't care about staying there till two in the morning. So lobster buffets, I do. <laughs> Disneyland, I do. <laughs> no, I like these things too. But yes, Tracy got to kind of experience grad night because it was grad night mm-hmm. for all these little ones. Well, you know, there's a ticketed event, mm-hmm. grad night reunion for oh, old really? people. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, (laughs) I don't think they're sold out yet. Yeah, because it's lame. Yeah, I don't think people are like, oh, we... Because they already did Star Wars Night and Villains Night, and those, like, Mm. you know, knocked it out of the park and boogie boogie bash. Mm -hmm. So, like, they were thinking, Grand Night, why would I want to relive that? Like, kind of thing. (laughs) So, they already have that. Especially, the cool thing about Grand Night, honestly, is you didn't have kids. Now they have kids. Yes, so. yeah. <laughs> Why do I want to relive my granddad? I'm about to bring my kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we stayed. Um, I don't even remember. We went on Matterhorn at night. It's at always nine. better at night. Yeah, we went on always at night. Always better. So the later, the better. Gave our World of Color tickets away. And then uh, we went on Smuggler's Run. We watched fireworks, fireworks from right Galaxy's of, Edge, mm-hmm. White the Millennium Falcon. Still second best spot, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. First best spot still, Thunder Mountain. Um, on first, Thunder Mountain is the best best spot. On the, yeah. Uh, but outside the exit of Thunder Mountain is probably second. And then, yeah, Galaxy's Edge there. Honestly, Main Street, probably fourth best place. <laughs> well, I think Fifth it's cool place. because... You, the music and the projections. When they why. do the, the mixed magic, yeah. It's, well, there's the but, projections on the castle, too. Some, you know, with the, the forever It depends which ones they do, yeah. Yeah, they always... Right now, it's that forever mm-hmm. fireworks or something. So but they if you're way projections. far back, though... If you're yeah, you way, can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it. You hear the music. Yeah. So it's kind of like, eh. And then you're stuck with all these people. 
Yeah. So when you want to leave, it's like you're music. just yeah. No, actually, and I would in, small in, in the, the in the projection. promenade is actually better than that because the promenade. Well, between the two gates. Oh. Because oh, you could yeah, just bounce. Yeah, yeah. You could just go to downtown Disney afterwards Esplanade. and go home. Yeah. The Esplanade, yeah. Well, so, uh, the other place where they have projections is Small World. Mm-hmm. The, the wall. And stuff. Yeah, like Small World to me is probably like three or four. Like actually, Main Street is probably like fifth or sixth best spot. <laughs> yeah. I'd even put it behind. Well, I mean, if you really wanted me to rank it, it'd probably be twentieth because there's probably a lot of hotels that have better spots. Because <laughs> even all Paradise Pier, the music projections and. When they have Tinker Bell or whatever that's flying across Paradise Pier, we didn't do it this time, but last time we were at Paradise Pier, the pool there's a was, deck. Yeah, it was way better. There's actually a fireworks deck, and they have you alcohol. Can, yeah, you can stand there and awesome. watch. So yeah, we got to do that. We and then we went on um, Haunted Mansion, probably like what ten eleven. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was our last ride. Yeah, the, the hiring shortage really affects that ride. Because they really don't know how to get people on and off quickly. And so now when you and empty the elevator. they keep stuffing people in the elevator and then we get stuck in that hallway. Yeah. And then it's like a whole mob of people. Which is a safety hazard. Yeah. I mean, that's like if OSHA saw that, that'd be like bad, <laughs> really bad. Yeah. Because if anything happened, no one can move. And they're in a very confined space. Yeah. So I don't even think it was designed for that. Mm-mm. Because you're, because it was so bad that like people are not just in the hallway. Like when they when the ride stops mm-hmm. because of an emergency, there's people that are half in the elevator, half out. Yeah, yeah. Like half the crowd's still in the elevator. But how come they don't have that um, camera thing like they do at Indiana Jones, where they look at the camera to make sure it's clear before they let us through? Yeah, they should do that. Why? Don't yeah, I mean, I know people get annoyed by waiting up top. Yeah, but that's what that's a safety that's, procedure. Yeah, it's not. You know. I'm surprised they don't, because Haunted Mansions. Did you imagine being stuck down there during an earthquake? Yeah. It's like, like, and if you what have like, anything? if you had like 20 people down there, it's fine. Right. Because you, okay, okay, we'll squirt yeah, you to the exit. Yeah, there's like space, yeah. You could, there wasn't even room to escort people to the exit. No, there was people standing halfway in the elevator and halfway in the yeah. hall. <laughs> yeah. So that was kind of weird. hmm But, you know, they'll figure it out, I'm assuming, I hope. Um, so yeah, Tracy's grad night. <laughs> so we did a lot of walking back and forth from the hotel to the parks. We started at Disneyland. Disneyland. And, uh, I think I've we were stuck there. on Space Mountain for a little bit. And they turned but on the lights. But we were stuck in the, in the, in the we line. We were almost there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's how we got that picture of when I put the wallet riding by herself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's because... A lot of the cars were going through by, you know, empty because they yeah. had to do the test rides. Because we never actually got to see the test rides before. Right. You know, it's like, how do they, like, reload it and start mm-hmm. it? And, uh, that's pretty interesting. And so um, when you try to download the picture, you got one number wrong and it was just one of the empty cars. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you know what? I can use this in the future. Yeah. And I used it the next day. Just cropped <laughs> myself on it. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to start cropping random people. <laughs> we'll put all our super fans in a yeah. you know, hyper mount, hyperspace, hyperspace. mountain. And then, like, the Hyperspace Mountain, like, the first sequence didn't work. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But it was still fun. It was still still a great ride. Yeah. And, yeah, went on everything. Oh, I like the um, (laughs) Star Tours, the kid. And and then Yoda appears during that scene, and it's like, baby Yoda? Oh, yeah. He's like, who is that? Because, you know, kids only know Grogu. Yeah, it shows you how old you are. It's like. They're like, who is that? Oh, Mom's God. like Yoda. And he's like, Baby Yoda? Because it doesn't look it doesn't look like Baby Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> baby Yoda. <laughs> Even their parents didn't know what it was. Like, is that that Yoda guy? What's his name? <laughs> like, oh man. That's so funny. So Yeah, yeah. Um This is the only thing I don't like about recording on Fridays is that it's the end of the week and it's like we're tired. Just, Super, not not even tired. It's just like, whoa! <laughs> it's kind of like you get like this head rush mm. of like, whoa! We're doing a podcast. Wow! <laughs> 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 but yeah, Tracy's grad night was fun. <laughs> um, I don't even think we did a lot of rides. Oh, we did um Goofy Sky School over at DCA. I don't think did we do Toy Story Mania? 
No. No, we didn't do Toy Story or Mania. Oh, yeah, we passed that up. We just did, you know. Because we them. wanted to meet up with the girl. I have mm. more fun, like, watching them getting excited. I know. It's so funny. It's like, it's, it's, that's just worth a ticket, just watching Oh, them. well, I could talk about my experience at the checking in and stuff. So mm -hmm. our first time at Paradise Pier, it was chaotic. Like, there was lines everywhere to check in, and our room wasn't ready, so we checked in our bag, went to the parks, still wasn't ready at four, went, walked all the way back, and then they were like, oh, I'm sorry. And so they made it up for us, um, to us by giving us the theme park view. And so that was cool, but it was so chaotic up in the lobby. So this time, the night before, so I had seen that you can um, mobile check in to the hotel like a week in advance. But, and I kind of ignored it. Which only like, works like 50% of the time in other yeah. hotels. You know? Yeah, because I, we, I watched all these videos at, for Disney World. And people were like, yeah, we mobile checked in, but it didn't do anything. They mm. never told us when our room was ready and it's been ready and they never told us. All that stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to do it. And then plus, like, I wanted to use a different card that I paid for. I thought we had to use the same card. So I just ignored it. And I was like, whatever. And then so they called me. <laughs> the hotel actually called me the night before. And they were like, oh, I just wanted to, you know, make sure everything's set for tomorrow. And, you know, you should... We encourage you to use mobile check-in. I was like, oh, yeah, I saw that, but I don't know because I want to use a different card. And they're like, oh, no, you can put in any card you want when you check in. It'll ask you again, like, what card you want to use to check in. It doesn't have to be the same card you use to pay for the room. And I was like, oh, okay, fine, I'll try tonight. So then I asked her all these questions. Well, if my room's not ready, can I just park and then go to the parks? And she's like, yeah, yeah, feel free to leave your luggage in there or check it in at the bell, either way, whatever you prefer. And we'll text you when your room's ready. And I'm thinking, yeah, right, you will. So then I did it, and I gave. they give you, and it's through the Disneyland app. There's a hotel mm -hmm. reservations button. And then you check in, and then you tell them your ETA, like when you think you'll arrive. So I just put like 10 a.m. or something ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I did that. And then while we were driving there, we kind of – got there pretty late <laughs> we don't rope drop anymore <laughs> we're lazy now got there pretty late so once i got there i saw that i got a text that my room was ready and it gave me the room number because it has a mobile key now you don't even have to stop by the front desk now mm. and um sometimes that doesn't work either so but i tried it and it did work so we straight went to the park parked our car went straight to our room used the mobile key the room opened and then when we went to the lobby, um, we saw that the lobby was clear. It wasn't chaotic like it used to be. Mm -mm. And then there were a bunch of cast members with iPads, you know, standing around just waiting to help you. And she's like, can I help you? I was like, oh, I just wanted to get a key, you know, a physical key, mm. just in case, you know, if there's no internet on my phone or something. So she gave me a key. And she's like, any other questions? And she's like, oh, feel free to use our um, mobile order to your room or something. So now you there's like they have QR codes around the hotel where you can scan it and it takes you to the site where you can mobile order at restaurants in downtown Disney and they'll deliver it to your, not to your room, but to the lobby. You can pick it up. Mm. So you're not like, you know, if for families who have starving kids because I know that when, I, when we waited at Naples once, there's this guy like, oh, oh yeah. my God, can I just go in and order a pizza? <laughs> yeah. I have hungry kids in the room. And they're like, no, sorry, you have to have a reservation or something, you know. It's a 45-minute wait to eat. He's like, I don't want to eat. I just want to order a pizza. <laughs> so I'm glad they have that now for guys mm -hmm. like him. Yeah. Right? Who <laughs> have hungry kids and mm -hmm. don't know what to do. And so that's a good fe new feature. And so they're really helpful. Um, the front desk people were kind of bored because there were the cast members with the iPads. The only thing I would say is they have like four elevators, but only one works. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if only one works. Order, I saw, but yeah. only one was wor like, like activated. Going, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was weird. So, and I don't know if they're doing that to save electricity. I don't know why. Yeah, they're doing I don't, it. <laughs> like, and it's one of those elevators where you tell them what floor you want to go to and it tells you which elevator is going to open for that floor. Yeah, it was always So C. it's not like you can, mm -hmm. can open any other elevator. So that was weird. And so that's where the bottleneck was, was the elevator, you know? Yeah. And, and that was, the, when we went before, there was a bottleneck there, but it was worse. Mm -hmm. And that's when all the elevators were working. Mm -hmm. But 
Yeah, if they just figure out the elevator. But the thing is, they've been having elevator problems at almost every hotel I've been to for the past Except year. Except for the Anaheim Marriott. Yeah, Anaheim Marriott's the only one that seems to be able to get it right. Mm-hmm. But I think it's the, the hotels that have big conventions, they have to get it right, or else it's a That's fire true. hazard. That's so, yeah. So they'll have something fixed in a matter of minutes. You know? <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, the, yeah, it's, yeah, it's still a kind of experience. old. Yeah, it's old. It's carpet, so it has a weird smell when you walk in. You get used to it, and it's not that bad, but then it's like... So that's why they're renovating it. Of yeah, course. when you say it like that, it makes it sound like it stinks. It no, no, stink. it's not that bad. But it, you know, carpet smell. Like the hotels now that are newer, they don't do it's carpet all anymore. Yeah. yeah, so you don't smell anything. Yeah, yeah, you don't smell anything, and then you don't get bed bugs, <laughs> like the Disneyland hotel is known for. <laughs> that was one time. Two. <laughs> was it? I yeah, it was two times. But yeah, so anyways, they're going to renovate it, so it's fine. You know. Mm. But um, bed bugs is because somebody bought in bed bugs. It's, oh, it's not because of the carpet? Well, I mean, they could live in carpet, I suppose. Ah. Uh, but, I mean, they... I don't even know where they come from, like how they... come from dirty people. <laughs> so if you let dirty people into your hotel, it's, it's kind of like if you let someone with bed bugs into your house, and then someone says, dude, Tracy's house has bed bugs. It's like, yeah, because, well, it's not your fault. It's your, your house's fault. It's because someone came in there with them. It's not like they breathe them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because I used to like, um, cause sometimes like homeless shelters are like better as far as like infestation treatment than hotels. Because I, when I was a CPS social worker, I'd have to go to like this place called St. Vincent de Paul in downtown mm-hmm. San Diego. Mm-hmm. It's like a giant castle for homeless families. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> but like every month, I don't know if it's every month or every other month, they fumigate everybody. All the families get kicked out, mm. and they fumigate the whole thing. Yeah, even even if there's nothing the, there, they fumigate right. the whole thing because they right. know that they're just bringing in people from who from, every, from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they just fumigate the whole thing, and so um, so because of that, I was, it, it's actually in some ways, as far as at least insects, cleaner than hotels. Yeah, you, that's true. Yes. I mean, it's, it was clean, so I didn't any have any problems with the cleanliness. Mm-hmm. Um, because we knew they were getting renovated because it's a old hotel. They're, they're going to, yeah. you know, rebrand to Pixar. So it was like, it's cool. It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I thought it, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, the beds look great. I mean, not great, but I mean, they were fine. Yeah. You know, there wasn't, it wasn't like anything issues with it. I mean, yeah. It's obviously better than like a Howard Johnson or something. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's up there. It's mm-hmm. nice. Um, the convenience is the most, yeah. like, uh, what we pay for. The bathroom was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You know, still kind of had, like, old school shower and stuff, but it, it works, so who mm-hmm. cares, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and that H2O um, toiletry stuff, like shower gel and shampoo you know, you, and you stuff really is like. nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they sell it at the um, Disney stores. Mm. So, so, yeah, I, I, I give it a thumbs up. I think you should try it. It's the least expensive of the hotel, but it's going to go up in price as soon as they... um. Yeah, as soon as they re- remodel Yeah. or refurbish or whatever. So. I mean, especially now that they have an entry right across the street, <laughs> right across the way. Yeah. Whereas before you had to walk so far. but And then we saw, like, they haven't made much progress on the DVC tower. Mm-mm. It was just... Ground zero <laughs> nope. kind of thing mm. right right yeah. now. There's no frame yet. So that was Tracy's grad night. <laughs> um, now it's time for... It's Taste Talk with Tracy. Mash some magic in your mouth. So we went to the Storyteller's Cafe buffet, buffet. for dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, it was... And we upgraded to World of Color. Mm-hmm. So they give you a ticket. And macarons. And macarons. We didn't know that. Well, I knew that, but you didn't know that. I knew that. No, you didn't. I, I told you. That's how you know. Okay, whatever. You don't follow <laughs> anything I say. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, they give, they give you a box of mac, um, a packet of three per person macarons mm-hmm. to go mm-hmm. at the end. And um, we gave those to the girls, too. <laughs> we gave those to the girls, too. Because uh, we were full. And. What did we do? Oh, yeah. We, so we ate at the buffet, and I had the prime rib. You saw the picture. Yeah. I had prime I, rib, too. That's one thing I don't know how to make. Mm. 
Yeah, the primal. It was pretty good. The horseradish sauce was a little weak. <laughs> it is weak. It's just like cream or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> you said. Yeah. So, but the, the meat itself was good. Um, the au jus was good. What did I have? Mashed potatoes, that was good. Mac and cheese was a good. A bunch of salads. A lot and of then salad. you said that the one thing that they didn't have were dinner rolls. Yeah, they didn't have any bread. <laughs> it was, was kind of weird. Which you think usually most hotel buffets or casino buffets have that because it fills you up and you don't eat the good as stuff much. as much. Yeah. yeah. But here, I guess they want you to eat all the prime rib. So. <laughs> well, they had other things like salmon, a chicken. They had pork belly. Yeah. And they had some pizza. Mm-hmm. So they had other things. It's just like any Disney thing, there's a line, right? So it's not like, oh, because, yeah. Yeah, it's not like a huge casino Vegas-style yeah, buffet. It's really just... only one section. Yeah. And so you have to... St- if there's a lot of people there at once, you got to stand in line. And but wait you have for to, them go to go through. through the salad to get to the steak, yeah. to the uh, prime rib. Yeah. It's not like you can cut and like, hey, can I just get a prime rib? You yeah, know, like it's that. too tight. The line's yeah. too tight. Yeah. So, so that probably discourages a lot of people from getting like five plates. You know, <laughs> they'll probably stick to like two or three. So I went back and I stood in line because I don't like my prime rib touching anything. And I wanted the au jus soaked in there, bathed in there. So I went back and got a plate and waited. For people to get their salads, I'm like, hurry up, get your kale salad, go, go, go. And then I, was, and I just got prime rib. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I only had one plate. So yeah. I, I can't eat like that anymore. <laughs> so, But um, it was good. But I had a big plate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, as long as you got everything you liked. And the dessert looked good, too. I, they were known for their um, bread pudding, and I tried it. I've never had bread pudding before. I was like, huh, what is this soggy bread thing? And then, like, somebody said, oh, this is what they're known for. It's really good. So I was like, okay. And they're like, oh, you have to put the vanilla sauce on it. I was like, all right. So it was caramel bread pudding. Mm. It was good. Yeah. It looks pretty good. So. so. <laughs> we're like, huh? <laughs> it seems like to, to, we can also title this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> no, but it, I mean, honestly, Paradise Pier, Storyteller, it, it, it was it was really fun. It was a fun. different experience. It was so fun that um yeah, it's hard to it's hard to come up with words. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we got home, we were, I was like, "Well, I don't know if I want to stay at a Marriott again." <laughs> and I go to Disney cuz now it's like, we have to the wait." The convenience is just off yeah. the chain. It's just, you know. And I can if it and it's convenient for us cuz cuz we're lazy. <laughs> Listen, yeah. If you have kids, it's going to be super convenient. Yeah. You can just take them and you, oh, oh you want to go nap? Okay. You could actually, because I always see this, um, I see this probably at least three or four times in my trips to Disney. You want to go home? I'll take you home. And it's like, you know that they're bluffing. They're not going to yeah. go home. And as soon as the kid gets to be eight, he knows you're bluffing too. <laughs> he knows you didn't come from Arizona no, to go but home. There was one mom who was by herself with a toddler boy mm. like a while ago. Mm. She got out of line. She was in line in front of us, and she's like, all right, you're acting up. Let's go. She yeah. actually left the line, and it scared him. It's like, okay, okay, okay. And then she went back. Of course, you know, she knew we would let her back in in front of us. So, <laughs> But that, like, just call their bluff. Like, she actually got out of the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's still a bluff, though. <laughs> Ain't nobody driving back. Even if it's L.A. You're not driving back to L.A. You didn't drive two no, hours. No, they were local. Yeah. You know, so. You could do that if, yeah, if you're from O.C., you can do that. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. Everybody else, you, you're just bluffing. But, <laughs> but, if, you have, if you're if you on site, if you're staying on property. You're like, you want to go back to the room? Let's go back to the you room. You could literally just go back to the room. Yeah. All right. And chill them out. And then, ah, no. <laughs> you're back. And then you, you sit in there. Maybe they could swim. Yeah. Well, you don't even listen. You sit them in the room. You give them a timeout. You can, there's no place to really give someone a timeout at Disney <laughs> unless you have a hotel on property. Yeah. And now that kid would be so scared. <laughs> and then it's like, you going to act up? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. You can take them back out. <laughs> so, yeah. All righty. Now, I was going to talk about weddings a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> More like proposals. Uh, well, weddings and proposals. There's a big backlash against Disney adults, as you know. It's oh, been yeah. going on for the last five years. I know. Years. People think Disney adults are weird. And da, 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 there's all, no, they're, they're, there's I don't think they channel. think they're weird. I think they're haters. They're just yeah. haters. Because nobody, th- like, 
if people were going to Disney and they were having horrible times, mm-hmm. no one would hate on them. People would be like, I don't know why you're going, but <laughs> that's kind of funny. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you hate on people that that have more fun than you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't hate on people who have less fun than you. <laughs> or if it's something you are not paying attention to and people are going to, then it's like, okay. It's like Coachella, Coachella right? Mm-hmm. We don't like that stuff. We're just like, oh, uh, no. So we're not like, oh, my God, we hate people who go. Or, you know, talking about people who but go. But if we yeah. wanted to go to Coachella and couldn't? Yeah, we would talk about it. Yeah. We'd be like, I hate Coachella people. <laughs> Ugh. I hate billionaires. <laughs> Why do you hate billionaires? They're just so, uh <laughs> <laughs> They yeah. just go to space for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let them go to space. They earned it. <laughs> I don't know if they earned it. We can we can argue they about can that. They pay for it. But I, it. Not they earned it. They can pay for it. Let them go to space. Right. Yeah. So so you'll see a lot of articles now about all how things go wrong. And the the one that where it got the most outrage was when this couple on Reddit posted that. They didn't feed their wedding guests because they, and instead they chose to use that budget for to have Minnie and Mickey appear at their wedding. Oh, I saw that one, but mm-hmm. I didn't read more into it. Yeah, and they got hammered. So, I don't even know if it's real. So their guest, it, it was. It was I it's expected? not a surprise. No, they just so decided to use. That- they had five thousand dollars that they could have used for food or to have Minnie and Mickey appear, and they used it for Minnie and Mickey. Yeah, if the guests knew that and went to the wedding anyways, it's, yeah. you know, like, well, I, don't know. I thought it wasn't until that moment that they're like, oh, there's no well, dinner. <laughs> well, maybe it could have been, <laughs> you know, it could be, you oh, know, yeah. but um, either way, it's, it is whatever. <laughs> That's their friends. Yeah. You know, like, I'm not going to be mad because you have a, well, somebody I, mean, I would consider a bad friend. You should tell me ahead of time so I can. Eat before I come. Again, but that's your friend. I don't mind that's having your friend. Minnie and Mickey there. If you if you have I bad choices hungry. and friends, that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a you problem. That's probably not your first chance of yeah, I choice have, of bad friends. I wouldn't have any friends that would yeah. not, not feed me at a party. Yeah, you don't go. I've never been, since I met you, I've never been to a wedding where there wasn't a ton of food. <laughs> I get overfed. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, Whatever. So, but the thing is, is that the people who came out weren't people like, just like, oh, that was rude to your guests. It was just like people like, Disney adults are going to be the downfall of society. <laughs> like, <laughs> was, wow, us. Wow. <laughs> we have so much power. <laughs> yeah. And that, those are funny. Yeah. yeah that that is funny. Really, Disney adults are ruining the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, why are you, why are you hating? It's so bad, it's so hating. <laughs> I mean, you could go. They could go to Disney too if they want to. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe some can, some can't. You know. But it's. It, but there's always something that somebody has that you don't. You have to benchmark it, right? Yeah. It's like if you're somebody who has who takes the bus, there's somebody who walks. Or you know? just anyone who just lives outside of far away, they can't go to Disneyland, right? Like if you live in well, like it doesn't matter. I'm just saying economically, it's like yeah, economically it, too. It's just you know, like if if there's somebody who lives in a shelter, there's somebody who lives in a car, if there's somebody who lives on the street, there's somebody. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. There's always. I mean, I'm not saying that as a society we should be okay with all those things, but don't hate on somebody who's like who one can, level above you. Yeah. Well, something or who not who can, but who enjoys it. Well, I, I, I guess is what I'm saying is it's like that's not the source of your ills. Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. It's not that doesn't help you. It's just more like, you know, if you're fighting for like equality, you're fighting for you know higher pay. If you're fighting like I can get on board with all that, you know. Mm-hmm. But hating on somebody who happens to have more than you, well, maybe that person agrees with some of your views. You know, I mean, that's not you know. Or it's, but the the most toxic stuff is not even. It's I don't even think a lot of it's economic. I think if it's a lot of it's like, like I'm wor- I'm working you know eighty hours a week or whatever. Yeah. I can't go to Disney. 
<laughs> so for the why people who are struggling or whatever, I don't think they are be going on Reddit complaining about adult Disney adults, no. right? So the people who are complaining are the people who probably c- could have go a job. and make other choices. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And so like, oh, you make different choices. <laughs> wow. You have season tickets to whatever the Dallas Cowboys or whatever. You know, like, do I complain about you? I know, like, I had a lot of friends who used to go to Stagecoach. That it's kind of like the oh, yeah, country the, music Coachella. The, yeah, like I don't get it, <laughs> but do you? Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if that makes you happy, then that's fine. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I had a, fr- a friend who was like, you know, back in my day, they, all he was into was hip hop. Mm. He started dating girls who like country. <laughs> so then he started going to stagecoach. Oh, that's funny. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> cool. I'm going to clown you for your reasons for going, <laughs> you know, because it's only because I know that you're not super into country music. <laughs> I think that's funny. That's you could clown somebody for that, but actually just going, no. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why some of the hate us. But then the other wedding story that came out was the. Um, Thing that happened in Paris where mm-hmm. their proposal got ruined by that one cast member. Yes. We should do a cast member spotlight with him. <laughs> he probably I got think I think he, he got fired. fired. I think he did. Well, I mean, okay, so I don't know, were, tell people the story. Okay, so uh, I'm sure you probably saw it on the internet if you're a Disney fan, but these the you know, a lot of people get proposed at at Disneyland, you know. So he was proposing. He's on one knee, taking out the ring, and she's like, "Oh yes!" And then, but, but they were up on a stage. Up on the stage, castle in the background. Mm-hmm. Not a stage. It's like this up thing. I don't know. But it's gated off. Is it? It's fenced. How did they get in? Well, a cast member told them they could get in. Yeah. So okay. So then whatever. So then another cast member, as she was about to say yes, or I think she had just said yes or something. It just that right when he got on his knee and opened the box, a cast member went right in the middle, took the ring away. Mm-hmm. And said, "Over here, do it over here, or something." Mm-hmm. And yeah, he got they got backlash because it kind of ruined the moment. Um, I can see how it does because pictures, and then she said yes, and they didn't hug yet, and all that stuff. And he, the guy, the couple, the guy said that I asked the other cast member, and he said, "Yeah, I can go up there." So he did, and I think it's an area that's roped off for like characters and performances. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the cast members probably defense is that he was doing his job. He was told to clear that area, to keep the area clear, right? He was just doing his job. He looked like a first dayer. Yes. The way he ran over there with yeah, desperation. He did, yeah, he was well, but he did it with uppity like, Hello, let's go this way kind of thing. Yeah, like, but he grabbed the ring though. Yeah, that's, I don't know about that. That's yeah. like some Lord of the Rings stuff, man. And, <laughs> And he was wearing Big ears gunman. and everything, so he looked all like. And he, but he was there was a bounce to his. No, yeah, know. and he's like, I was doing it. He's like, it'll be even better over here, and it's like, yeah. no, it won't. Like you ruined it. <laughs> you ruined the moment. <laughs> and Dizzy had to apologize to the couple. And but that, the them. guy looked like he was probably twenty. You know, it yeah, wasn't like yeah. an older, experienced cast member. Yeah. It looked like it was his first day, and he probably had some French. Guy, Don't let anybody on the stage, okay? <laughs> Don't let anyone on the stage. <laughs> you understand? Know <laughs> and then he's like, okay, okay, I won't let anyone on stage. Someone goes on the stage and he grabs their ring and tells him to get over here. <laughs> it's like, that's not the way you do it, man. But from an HR perspective, I'm always like, okay, what was he, he trained was, to do? Yeah, to keep that spot clear. That's yeah. what he did. And you could say, well, common sense would tell you, which, like, yeah, but it all goes to training. If you have yeah. horrible training, man. That's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know? Don't. And it's like, especially grabbing somebody else's property, mm. like that's like an expensive thing. ring or something. That's like, yeah, especially an expensive ring, <laughs> engagement mm. ring. Yeah. What if he would have dropped it and would have fell down a grate? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like then it's like, uh, yeah. I would have even told him, like, dude, you broke the setting on the ring. <laughs> Does, and I would have said, it's a it's a two hundred thousand dollar ring. I would have made it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would just to scare him, you know? <laughs> <Be> like, <laughs> well, Disney did offer the couple um, a stay at a hotel in the parks, but they denied it. They're, yeah. They declined it, I mean. And they said. Because no, it, 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 the thing was, it wasn't just like 
somebody saying no. It's, it was like humiliating too. Yeah. And it's just kind of like snatched their thing and you did this. And it was, it was, it was a bad look. It yeah, was a bad it ruined look. the moment. Not just ruined the moment, but like, even if it wasn't a wedding moment, that would be like, if I had like, I don't know. Cause that's if, I, if, I, that... if I just had like a pair of like Mickey ears or like, like our wallet, right? Mm -hmm. If we were trying to take a picture of our wallet and a cast member just snatched it out of my hand and said, you can't do that here. Like, that's not a wedding moment. I would still be upset. Yeah. I would still be like, dude. Like, you know, this is like a hundred times. Yeah. Because right? when it's a proposal, you know that that guy planned this for months, even years, right? Yeah. Because he, he planned the perfect proposal. Because they were a Disney couple. They yeah. did a lot of stuff at Disney, you know. So he must have planned it for years. I mean, I know it's like me and Emmy's parents, you know, were got engaged at Disneyland. So. Mm -hmm. I know it was a big production. It's planned. You have your friends, secretly your friends there to take a video, right? Yeah. And a, a pictures. Then all of a sudden you've got this dude bouncing up to the stadium, <laughs> taking your ring away. Hey. <sighs> yeah. I mean, now, as an older person, I could say moments are what you make of them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like people who are like uh, bridezellas and they get all upset about this. Just this one thing wasn't right at the wedding and that ruined the whole wedding. Well, if that ruined your wedding, dude, your marriage probably gonna fail anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I can understand like putting investing time into something and it not turning out the way you want it. But you kind of have to have a set, certain sense of humor at the end of the day. That's why people with sense of humor are, are good people. Mm hmm. Because if you can laugh at something like that, because the thing is, is you're going to start your life with this person. You're going to have kids with this person. You're going to. Yeah. The proposal is like just whatever. You know, it's, it's, more not, it's, it's not whatever. It's like important. But at the same time, you can find levity in that. Like yeah. that. You're how many other. If, if that would have just been a proposal and nothing happened. Nobody it would. Just, would your Talk proposal is world famous. Yeah, it's something you can it tell It happened your kids in France. Now, right? I wouldn't I would have never known about you. Yeah. You are more your proposal is is now forever viral. <laughs> <laughs> you and, tell your kids. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, this is where that cast member where we became famous. And, yeah. So know. that that's the thing. Your proposal now is a bigger moment. Now you can mm -hmm. say, well it's negative. Like, nah. It's memorable. More people know about this and will remember this. You ask me if if I don't get dementia, and you ask me in seventy years, hey, do you remember that couple that? You know, that I'll be like, yeah, I remember, yeah. didn't we talk about that? Like, yeah. <laughs> I remember that, you know. Yeah. So um, try to. I'm just, you know, that's just my advice as somebody who, you know, is older. Don't don't stress too much on moments mm -hmm. because the moments really are ultimately out of your control anyway. Yeah. So, but now. Let's talk some dot points. Dot points Disney. Oh, so this is speaking of Disneyland Paris and all that stuff. Um, so the requirements for arriving passengers um, to have a negative COVID test, mm -hmm. like passengers arriving to other yeah. countries and, and into the U.S., um, that's in place since 2021, January, yep. is now been lifted. Well, it's about to be, I think. Yeah, yeah. about to be. Um, Disney thinks it's going to be a big boost, especially to, to um, Walt Disney World. Oh, yeah, because they have a lot of international mm -hmm. visitors. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty good, you know. It, wouldn't it be funny if, like, DeSantis is like, uh, they need to get tested, and he's like the anti-test, anti-mask <laughs> Governor, just 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 to just to screw over Disney. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I don't think he'd change that position. No, he doesn't uh, change his position. Much. No, but I'm, I, it'd be yeah. funny. <laughs> um, so it was it was confirmed by the Hollywood Reporter that Thunderbolt movie will be made. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, uh, Zemo, U.S. agent. Yelena. A lot of people don't know what the Thunderbolts are. So, yeah, so it's like the anti-heroes, right? Kind of, yeah. yeah. So when, if you all saw um, Falcon and Winter Soldier, that Val lady was mm -hmm. trying to recruit. So U.S. agent, of course, and then... Uh, the in, in the comic Hulk. books, there's, there's, there's a lot of different... Yeah, but in MCU so far, it's 
probably going to be U.S. agent Yelena. Yelena's already working for Val. Yeah. And uh, Zemo, and then the other Hulk. Abomination, Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. He'll probably and be in there. And then it's, in the comics, it was Thunderbolt Ross. But Yeah, then, that's, they're named after him. Yeah. Thunderbolt. Then William Hurt passed away, so we'll, we'll see, see how if, they write that. It could be an honor to him. Mm. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, and it would kind of fit in that why Val's there and he's not. It would, mm. it would be it'd be an easy story, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know, but he was good in the comics. Thunderbolt. Well, I mean, it just could be a spoiler, but I don't know. But it's been in the comics for two decades. The Red Hulk in in Marvel comics is Thunderbolt Ross, mm-hmm. and it was a big mystery who it was because when he turns into Red Hulk, he doesn't have a mustache. So nobody knew who he was. <laughs> but, yeah. And, and in the comics, it was a big thing because it started out as a mystery of who killed the Abomination. And the Abomination was killed with a gun, but the gun was huge. Like, it was a pistol, but <laughs> yeah. it was, like, the, the size of, like, you know, like Black a Hulk. rifle. Like, yeah. yeah. So, um, and no one knew who did it, and then it turned out to be Red Hulk. And Red Hulk would beat up all the Avengers. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it was, you know, he was smart. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like he could have picked up Thor's hammer, but like he could like, hey, you know, but if I'm grabbing it, if you're flying away and I'm just holding on, that's not picking it up. Uh, and, it, and he would like do things like that. He mm-hmm. knocked out the watcher. <laughs> like he was just kind of, he was being Thunderbird Ross's like ultimate ego. You mm-hmm. know, it was, it was pretty funny. He had slightly different powers. He was super strong, but like the Hulk, the matter he gets, the stronger he gets. And then he could just get hotter. Like he would burn with radiation. Oh, because he's red. Yeah. Right. And, he could, and he could drain the radiation from others. So at one point he drained all the gamma radiation from the Hulk and it made him permanently Bruce Banner for mm-hmm. a while. Of course, he turned back eventually. But mm. yeah, it, it was a cool team. Um, but Zemo was ultimately the, the head of it. Mm. Um, kind of like the leader, their Captain America. So hmm. we'll see. Um. Yeah, it would be. I guess he'd probably be more like their Iron Man, but he doesn't have armor. He he's just really he's a yeah. smart. He's a genius, you know. So if Zemo's leading it, I'm in because <laughs> his character is just great. The actor's great, and uh, and he can dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, I'd definitely be looking forward to that because he'll just bring. I think he would be the bridge to. To make everything happen, make everything work. Yep. And then the other news is June 13th, Monday, is when the Thor Love and Thunder tickets go on sale. Yep. So set your alarms. <laughs> <laughs> um, so some uh, some Disney executives reorganization. <laughs> this is the big thing. Going on here. Drama. So um, let's see. Drama with a capital Who D. <laughs> General Disney General Entertainment Chairman Peter Rice is late, has left the company. Mm-hmm. So he's well, he was under um, 21st Century Fox since the 1980s. Yeah. Um, so that means he came with the acquisition, mm-hmm. and then he stepped down. But then later on, it one article said that it was Chapek who fired him. Yeah. Because he was sort of a threat to the CEO. Position. Well, that's what they're speculating. That's what they're speculating. Um, because, let's see, they... Because he's done this before where... Um, well, Jeff Morrell got let go because he took the fall for the whole yeah, bill thing. Florida thing. Um, but then he's done this before where another executive was let go because he was supposed to be like kind of like the heir apparent to Bob Iger. Mm-hmm. And then he was fired. Because he's kind of a threat. <laughs> That's what everyone's like speculating. But um, yeah, so basically there's some shakeups. Um, it's funny because there he came out and said, like Chapek said, like he doesn't fit our culture. It wasn't like an amicable thing. And he didn't even know he was about to get fired. Oh. It wasn't like there was discussions a month ago, like, yeah. hey, we're going to probably need to let you go. Mm-hmm. You know, da, da, da. Let's transition this. Here's a big bag of money. Mm-hmm. It was like, you're out. You're fired. Like, he's like, what? Yeah, and that's happened before with um, somebody, that other guy, Tom Staggs, who was the heir apparent to Bob Iger, inspired mm-hmm. after being undermined by Chapek mm-hmm. and also viewed as a threat. So, 
Um, I wonder when they say he's viewed as a threat. I don't know if he's viewed as a threat because the board seems to have backed Yeah, Iger. that's the other thing. I mean, not board, Iger, but Chapek. Chapek. The board is backing Chapek. Mm-hmm. It says, um, in, a, in the official statement, the Walt, Walt Disney Company board says, uh, Susan Arnold, the chairwoman, says, the strength of the Walt Disney Company's businesses coming out of the pandemic is a testament to Bob's leadership and vision for the company's future. Yeah, the board seems to love him. So... Here's the thing. It's like, I guess we'll see, you know. But that's what, what they happens. do. Like, other Well, they kind of have to. Take the fall for whatever's going wrong. It's like, all right, you're fine because this. Yeah, you, know. you can only do that a few times, though. <clears throat> They're saying this Dana Walden chick who's taking over for yeah. him, though, is like, she's like a shark. She's like the real threat that maybe Chapek doesn't see. Mm. Because she's like, you know, she's like the little finger. <laughs> of, the, of, of, of the bunch, yeah. you know, like everyone thinks. Oh, but no. I thought with the with Peter Rice, it, I would think it's obvious because anytime you acquire a company, yeah, you the, let go of their senior. Yeah, executive. the legacy company just gets let go, you know, or something. But they are usually given a big bag of money. <laughs> he, but no, he's still going to get some money. Yeah. It's just yeah, I mean, but when you come out and say stuff like, "Well, he didn't fit with our culture," and this is going to be, it's kind of like that's like a yeah, big that's negative weird. on the way out. That's yeah. Like, if I was HR, I wouldn't recommend, or PR. Yeah, because usually they say, um, know HR and PR he's moved on to other <laughs> endeavors or something, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, to take a position, to, to start new endeavors. We're both something. concerned with optics. And so yeah. it's like, whether you're HR, whether you're PR, I would be like, yeah, just don't say And anything. legal, even. Because yeah. legal's all like, well, don't say it like that. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean... You better, you better back. I mean, it's it's weird because, like, if he was this decisive on, on the, that bill, on the bill, he'd probably be sitting a lot better. All the drama with um, Florida would still happen, mm-hmm. but he'd have a lot more people on his side. Yeah, you know. And I'm not saying firing somebody is like a good thing. I don't know if this is a good move or a bad move. You know, I'm not in those board meetings or whatever, mm-hmm. but. But it was a, it's a boss move. Like, hey, yeah, I fired him. I did it. You know, I don't like him. Gone. At least that's decisive. Mm-hmm. Right? I'd take an ownership of it. And so if anything happens because of this guy leaving, then it's on JPEG. Nobody can blame anyone else. It's like mm-hmm. that's – that's you might not think that's the correct decision, but it is leadership. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm yeah. not – I don't – no, f- yeah. If it's good leadership, but it is leadership, right. you know. So, yeah, he needs to act like that on other f- issues. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. So keep that same energy. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was like, at least DeSantis, he's like, okay, that's my position, and that's my position. I'm not going back and forth because you called me, you know, yeah. or something. Right. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I think that's it for us today. Remember our giveaway. The Mickey Mouse silver backpack and the silver crossbody, they are set. And that will be ending on June 25th, Saturday, Pacific Standard Time, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Must be 18 years or older, live in the United States. All you have to do is send us the question, what is your favorite Disney gear? To direct message us via Facebook or Instagram or info at ropedroppingknowledge.com or on ropedroppingknowledge.com on our blog post of the giveaway. All right. I'm Brian. I'm Tracy. Stay magical. Bye. Wait, we got to do that again. I'm Brian. I'm Tracy. Stay magical. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit us at www.ropedroppingknowledge.com.